very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking I'm very excited and I'm very happy to share with you our results uh, for this week so far I believe we are doing really so well and the comeback after Angela's sickness is just really outstanding uh, these are the signals that we have sent uh, yesterday Monday and as you can see almost all of the signals have reached their take profit number two and three as as well look at that the list is full of green and of course it's very normal to see some losses here and there and notice that we never let any signal to reach the stop loss i mean pound usd we closed it with only 15 pips of loss only uh compared to these amazing profits pound aud 120 pips of profit pound nzd 60 pips uh euro nzd 30 pips pound aud 60 pips as well and as we can see here the pound usd again we close it with 35 pips of loss but again that is compared to all these profits and today tuesday as well we have sent all these signals and as we can see very tiny small losses compared to very big profits that we have made right i'm sure i'm sharing the results right front of you some members said that i'm hiding the losses and that is of course totally not true i'm sharing here the premium group results right in front of everyone because i'm very proud of our work however it's very important to mention that what we are doing in extreme trader is we are fighting the scamming business we don't promote um scamming at all we don't promise you profits we are not we are not actually telling you that you will make profits for sure. Um, not every day is going to be great like this. However, it's all up to your money uh, management and how you are managing your funds with these signals. Some days will be bad, which is normal. And this is how Forex is because it's just part of the game. But thankfully, more and more days are actually very profitable and very good. And we are making a lot of money with these signals for, for us and for the members. So... If you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so let's take a look at the market right now and let's see what are the next opportunities that waiting us for the rest of this week. Right now, as you can see, the EURUSD. Uh, EURUSD has actually moved almost as I have predicted. I mean, this one, I think it was 8th of March, maybe? Yes. The market actually has reached almost the same level I mentioned that we can start shorting the euro USD. It reversed just like maybe 10 pips before reaching the level. However, uh, in general, the, gen the general direction was actually correct and the euro USD has fallen all the way near to the take profit level. What happened next with the euro USD? Let's check together uh, the pair. Let's go to the daily chart right now. Now, let me just delete the old signal that we have sent last Saturday and let's see what what uh, what can we do next. Now, if you notice, guys, here, we have here a support trend line just like that. That support trend line has been breaking out from with this strong bearish candle. Now, let's switch, let's switch to the four hour time frame. All right. So on the four hour time frame, what we can notice right here is we had here a strong support level right here this was actually a strong support level because actually the very same level was also a strong key resistance level as well so the the the, the normal behavior of the market as i'm telling you always and in almost every video when you are having here a support trend line like that and you can see that the market is actually climbing its way on this support trend line and creating all these attempts once the market let me just increase this once the market actually uh, break out from that support trend line the normal behavior is gonna be like this the market is gonna reach the nearest support for this trend line like that and after that it's gonna rise again retesting the broken the broken support trend line to create another resistance trend line and after that the market most likely is gonna continue the fall notice something here in this shape I have drawn for you the shape that happened here is a head and shoulders and that resistance is going to be respected right here again that's how the market is usually behaves and therefore what we can expect next from the euro usd that the market actually actually might rise a little bit more and it might actually rise all the way to hit almost the same level of that resistance and after that we can see that we will have here head and shoulders pattern and after that the pair is going to be good for the short so in other words for the meantime euro usd is going to be better for the buy 
the bear has almost reached the take profit level and almost also triggered the sell order therefore we need now to change this signal to be from um, to the sell right now to the buy right now what we can see here i have switched by the way to the daily chart now on the daily chart we can notice right here that we have as i told you before the support number one and the pair has reversed exactly on support number two so what's going to happen next is the pair as i said before is going to continue climbing its way to retest the broken support trend line but however for the meantime and for this week if i'm not mistaken the pair is going to continue the rise until it uh, retest that broken resistance uh, support right here so we can expect from the pair to rise for another 58 pips but however not immediately um if i'm not mistaken we can expect from the euro usd uh, under this uh, under the pressure from the resistance right here exactly right here let me delete these lines so they won't confuse you so under the pressure from the resistance right here on 1.19037 most likely the euro usd is actually gonna make another uh, attempt on the support and after that only after that we can start buying the euro usd again so after analyzing all of this on the daily chart let's move back to the four hour time frame so we can tell exactly where we can start buying the euro usd now if we want to see here the chart oh if you want to see here how is the how the chart is performing right now we can see that it has already made another uh, sorry it has already created a resistance number one on the same level i mentioned for you therefore we can expect right now from the euro usd to fall again for let me see how many pips for about 33 pips i would say and right after that from next this resistance right here from this um you see this guy here this guy's here this is small uh, wick right here which has been followed later by this bullish breakout candle that is exactly what i'm expecting from the euro usd to fall again and after that it's gonna create here a resistance number two and you might see the pair might, gonna be ranging for quite some time here on that level before eventually continue the rise and break out and continue climbing its way to that to, to retest that broken support trend line that being said the euro usd should be really good for the buy if i'm not mistaken right from that level buy at 1.18077 uh, let's just go back to the daily chart so i, ca so I can show you how we can um, regarding the safe zone the safe zone should be actually guys just a little bit below that support as i mentioned this right here because if we check right here we are having here a support zone and there is a chance that the pair actually after we place the buy order right here it might fall a little bit more to be ranging inside that support zone but eventually if i'm not mistaken and hopefully if uh, the market is going to respect this rule and if we see any good price action indicates that we can start buying the pair then we can place our buy order please don't place the buy order if you notice that the market is actually uh, losing its strength if you see the euro lose if the, you see if you see the euro losing its strength or the dollar is actually uh, getting getting stronger then in this case uh, of course don't buy the euro usd don't buy the the pair if you see a strong bearish candle appeared always be wise and be smart about your trades if you see any indicate any something indicates that the market is actually uh, in a bullish uh, reversal such as a pin bar or if you see any dodgy or if you see a reverse hammer not that, that the reverse hammer like that if you see any candle look like this then you can start again buying the euro usd so anyway the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 53 pips which is really fair enough exactly like that and regarding our take profit level it's gonna be only till here till the market uh, continue the rise until it hit that pro previous support level expecting from it as i told you to rise a little bit more to reach that level here and from that point we can start again shorting the pair so anyway we are looking for about 120 pips i would say from this trade on the euro usd so the take profit level is gonna be 1.19892 there goes your signal for the uh, for the euro usd for the remaining days of this week and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now take a look at the pound usd 
the pound USD signal is already being triggered and as you can see the pair is now ranging inside the safe zone it has reached exactly the edge of the safe zone and guys notice something here the edge of the safe zone i'm placing is not random at all i placed the edge here of the safe zone because right here as you can see we are we are having here a previous support level and there was a chance as i told you before if the market has reversed from our sell area the market might eventually rising a little bit more and eventually it, ha it has to retest that broken support level but after that i believe the market is still gonna be good for the short however in this scenario um if we look right here on the daily chart let me just delete uh, the signal from the old one the problem here that on the if we look at the price action this is a price action which is really good indicates that the market is actually going to continue the rise um this, this is the daily candle and this is the timing right here in dubai time it's 11 44 and this candle is gonna expire right after actually two hours so i believe the candle is actually gonna close like that and if we look carefully on the very same level we are having here a previous support so meaning this was here a support number one and right here the market has reversed on the second attempt of the support and after seeing this price action most likely right now the market is actually going to continue the rise now let's study the chart together shall we now if we draw here a support trend line like this we can see that the market is actually climbing its way on that support trend line as well that means that the market did not make the breakout from that support trend line even if we draw it like this no matter how you draw it in the end the market seems like it has actually respected that support trend line and therefore we can expect from the pound usd eventually to reach at least the resistance right here on 1.140490 that means we need now to look for a buy order for for the pound usd that price action actually has changed the whole game so we cannot short it anymore now that being said let's look at the left to find the strongest support level that we can rely on first of all to have a better view let me just draw here a fibonacci retracement as we can see right here the market right now is ranging on the fibonacci 50 uh retracement number 50 and right now we can see that the market has made a strong reversal on fibonacci 61.8 check out all these attempts the market has actually really made so many attempts to break out from the fibonacci 61.8 level but eventually has failed right now we see that we the market has created right here a strong bullish breakout candle therefore the next behavior we can expect from the market is it is gonna fall like this and that support right here is gonna hold its position as a support and after that we can start buying the pound usd so that being said and guys i know i'm talking talking a lot but uh, i hope it's gonna bring a lot of benefits for the members to understand the reason behind each and every single signal so <clears throat> pound usd is gonna be good for the buy at 1.38548 and of course since we are buying here between fibonacci 50 and 61.8 the edge of the safe zone should be ranging right here just below 61.8 so it's going to be ranging for about 61 pips which is i i think this is uh, fair enough is good and i really doubt that the market actually gonna rise oh sorry gonna fall below that zone therefore this is exactly where we will start buying the pound usd and the target as i said before is going to be the peak of the resistance so uh, it's going to be better placed right here above 38.2 because that's going to be our next target so we are actually looking for for about 130 pips hopefully we will make them so take profit level is going to be 1.3989851 there goes your signal for the pound usd hopefully also it will work very well and bring us a lot of profits now looking at the AUD usd now the signal of the AUD usd has actually been triggered as well and as we can see the pair has went in about uh, i would say 78 pips of profit before reversing now what was the reason for that reversal let's check it together uh, let me just first delete the old signal i'm just going to keep the level where we actually started shorting the market so this is exactly where we have shorted the market uh, it was on right here on the, the previous support level 
and that resistance we were expecting from that from that resistance to keep its position as a resistance however what happened is that the AUD USD has actually faced a very strong support level as we can see right here let me show you that right here that support zone let me go to the daily chart so we can see it clearly exactly so that support zone right here was quite very strong and as we can see the market has made what seems like a fake breakout from that support zone the market actually has triggered the tr trigger uh, tricked the traders making them assume that it has actually made a breakout from that previous support level however if we look carefully that breakout right here has nothing such as a, a full bar or a full breakout candle it has only one small pin bar and this these two candles right here so therefore that was not actually a breakout from the support level immediately the market has created a strong bullish candle like like that it indicates that the market actually respecting that level as a support not as a resistance so what we thought that is going to be a resistance is no more a resistance as we can see and the pair actually has made this a strong bullish candle and that price action right here guys indicates a continuation in the rise so therefore let's go back to the daily chart uh, to the four hour time frame right now we need to look for buying orders for the AUD USD and what we can see right here is the, AU, the AUD USD is facing this resistance right here if I'm not mistaken also AUD USD actually might continue the rise right away without a pullback but however for the safety of our followers and members we have to set a, a, a better target or sorry a better place for the buy therefore I'm going to let me just see how many pips yeah about 27 pips I'm going to rely on actually on that previous support level right here if we see here on the left we can see that we had so many attempts of the support right here so therefore after seeing this strong bullish candle uh, and right here if we look carefully on the center we can see that we had here also another resistance I'm expecting from the market to fall right here a little bit more so that previous resistance is going to be another support and supported by all these attempts of the support zone the market have to um, under the pressure from that support level is going to respect the level and again going to continue the rise that being said AUD USD good for the buy at 0 0.76850 and the safe zone should be actually ranging a little bit be below here till the support zone exactly uh, the support zone I mean right here the edge of the support zone right here so therefore um, this is going to be our safe zone which is going to be actually let me just make it a little bit below it exactly so it has to be about 50 pips which is really perfect and fair enough exactly like that Fant fantastic perfect and for the target of course it's going to be right here the peak of the resistance because this is exactly where we are expecting from the AUD USD to continue the rise as we can see we're having here a strong uh, resistance attempt and the market actually has failed to break out from that resistance on the long run so that is exactly where the market is, is heading to as I said before most likely what will gonna happen is that the AUD USD is gonna continue the rise right away so if you are willing to take if you are willing to take this risk you can start buying the pair right away and I think hopefully it's gonna continue the rise immediately this buy order right here on that level is just being placed there for safety uh, for safety um, measures uh, the pair might fall for another 32 pips before it's gonna be valid for the, uh, the buy so the take profit level is gonna be 0 0.77964 there goes your signal for the AUD USD and again hopefully it will work very well and bring us a lot of profits let's now take a look at the USD CAD now regarding the USD CAD as we can see the pair actually um, has been raging after entering our buy level right here I think almost right here I would say almost right here the pair has actually just like three pips before re reaching our buy order the USD CAD has went in about 80 pips of profit before again falling inside our safe zone and as we can see the pair has actually been ranging in the, inside the safe zone for about 23 24 pips before again be in profit right now the pair is running in 16 pips of profit 
looking at, looking looking at the daily chart i really don't see anything changed at all um the pair seems like it's so far still in, in a consolidation mode and it is now feeling the pressure of that support level and also the resistance right here on 1.27180 I believe that this signal can be still remain the same and eventually the USD CAD is actually going to continue the rise and reach even that resistance right here on 1.12 uh, sorry 1.28530 that is where the USD CAD if I'm if I'm not mistaken is heading to because all the price actions and everything here indicates that the USD CAD is still going to continue the rise therefore if you have entered the signal of the USD CAD I, I suggest that you can you can keep it and seems like the pair is actually going to continue the rise. USD GPY. USD GPY actually has continued the rise right here. It rose all the way until it reversed at 109 point, um, 109.227. However, the USD GPY is just about 27 pips before reaching our buy level i believe this trade is still going to be valid eventually the usd gpy going to reverse exactly as I, as I have mentioned before on that previous resistance level the pair has to revisit that level to retest it again and after that it's going to continue the rise therefore um, nothing is changed also for the usd gpy we are about to, to start the buy order for the bear so let's prepare for it and get ready to start buying the usd gpy only of course if we have seen any good price action in the case that the pair is reversing after hitting that previous resistance usd chf now as we can see right now as we are speaking usd chf has reached our take uh, our buy order but the problem is the pair has already rose all the way to the take profit level and as i'm telling you always once the pair has reached the take profit level before reaching our buy order then the signal is no longer valid so let's see what's next what's waiting what's waiting for us next on the use for the ustchf let me first delete the old signal exactly now let's look at the daily chart now notice something right here my friends the pair actually has reversed exactly from that previous support level this is exactly where i have selected my take profit level the, of course the take profit levels are not being placed randomly because we know that the pair after making the breakout from the resistance is going to continue the rise all the way till it retest the broken support level and after that it's going to fall again to retest the broken resistance however if i'm not mistaken USDCHF is actually going to continue the fall until it reaches that previous support level right here. This is the strongest key support level on the chart we can see and it is holding the position since February 2020. So therefore, if I'm not mistaken, USDCHF is going to continue the fall for another uh, 37 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy and as we can see the strong resistance level right here as well. So, USDCHF is going to be valid for the buy uh, 0 0.92384 and the take profit level is going to be exactly the same level of that previous take profit level so th therefore we are looking for about 131 pips profit from this signal take profit level is going to be 0 0.93694 and the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit right here below that support level exactly i'm looking right here guys so this is going to be the safe zone where we can expect the pair to be ranging up uh, inside it so therefore it's going to be lasting for about 60 pips which is again fair enough and good for the usdchf there goes your signal for the usdchf and hopefully also it will be a very good signal and hopefully it will bring us a lot of profits let's take a look right now at the gold the gold is really pissing me off because the gold actually has reversed exactly look at that guys look at that the gold has reversed just 17 pips before reaching my sell level however the gold has went exactly as i have predicted for the, uh, since the last week and as you can see the pair has fallen total for about 385 pips and hopefully it was in profit and i really hope everyone have actually taken this signal but it's important to notice what happened right now the pair actually the gold has reached the take profit level and again my friends these take profit levels are not placed there randomly 
there was a reason for selecting this level as a take profit level because as we can see the pair has reversed uh, has reversed exactly from the level, the price of 1678 let me show you this i'm going to delete to, to keep the sell and the take profit level because we're going to need them so let's look at the daily chart the, you, the gold actually guys has reached the strongest support level since April 2020 look at that the pair actually has tried so many times to break out from that support that's the reason I have selected this level here exactly to be the take profit level because we are not really sure how the gold is going to react after reaching that level if the gold actually continue the fall below that support level that's really going to be bad for the gold because it means that the gold is going to continue the fall all the way right here to that level of the support at 1556 uh, that's going to be terrible for the gold therefore the gold in my opinion right now is respecting that support level right here this respecting the support zone and most likely after seeing this strong bullish engulfing candle on the daily chart we can expect from the gold right now to continue the rise until no less than that support level right here the previous support level on 1770 so therefore what we can expect right now after analyzing this on the daily chart let's go to the four hour time frame and let's notice right here that we are having here a strong support level as well exactly right here so therefore i want to make it right here uh, let, let me let me just be sure let me just draw here a, support, a resistance trend line exactly it's almost like this yes yes exactly like that uh, let's draw here a Fibonacci retracement as well just to be sure if I'm not mistaken the gold might reverse for another uh, wait a minute no this is not the right way hold on guys Yes, now I have changed uh, the drawing of the trend line. I have drawn it on my own way. And if, if my analysis is correct, we have to wait for the gold to reach that support level right here. Exactly right here at 1705. And after that is going to be really good and ideal to start again buying the gold. Let's move to the one hour time frame. And as we can see, we, are, we had here almost what seems like a support number one. And right here also, we can see that the pair has reversed exactly on that same level of the support. So therefore, this this one here seems like it's really the perfect level to start buying the uh, gold. Not to mention, of course, that support trend line, the resistance trend line right here, which has been breaking out from. And what we can expect right now from the gold after the breakout from that resistance trend line to continue the rise, retesting, okay, here, we are having here a resistance so most likely the gold right now is going to reverse on that resistance level falling again making a pullback retesting that broken support level and uh, sorry uh, retesting the broken resistance trend line to become right here a new support trend line and uh, and under the pressure of that support right here the pair actually has to keep its position as a support and therefore we can start the pair, uh, expect to expect from the pair to continue the rise that being said the gold is going to be good for, sorry the gold is going to be valid for the buy at 1706.50 i would say i was thinking to make it 1705 but however i believe this is really going to be better level we have to wait for the gold to fall for another 115 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy again and of course for the take profit level again it's not randomly placed we have to select this resistance right here because we have here a resistance number one so the target is going to be right here until the market reaches the same level to create a resistance number two so we are looking for about 480 vips and really hopefully we will make them so take profit level is going to be 1754.63 and the safe zone should be of course ranging just right here exactly right here till that previous resistance so it's it has to be only 100 pips we can make it a little bit more just like that perfect yes there goes your safe zone exactly like that so 
there goes your signal for the gold and i really hope it's gonna be uh, another very successful and very good week for everyone and in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching